All right, so this question is pretty tricky, but it's a big classic in physics, so I wanted to show how to work it out. We have three objects lined up as shown. Um, the masses, um, 2m and 3m, are 10l apart. So this is some sort of length. So these two guys here are a distance of 10l apart. I want to know how far from 2m, in terms of l, would m have to be? How far from 2m does m have to be? So I want to know what is this distance here. Um, I'm going to call this y because it's a distance in the y-axis. I could have called it d. Um, x would have been kind of weird, right? But um, d. Um, so how far in terms of, of L would M have to be in order to experience no net force? Experience no net force means that the sum of all forces on M equals zero. Okay, so let's call this guy A, B, and C, and I want the sum of all forces on B to be zero. I hope you see that B is being pulled up by C. I can call that FBC or just FC, and it's being pulled down by FAB. The idea is that if the net force is zero, these two forces cancel. Okay, so if the sum of all forces equals zero, it means that these two forces here will cancel. They're going to have the same magnitude. So FBC is going to have the same magnitude as FAB. Okay, to solve this, we're now going to uh, replace FBC and FAB um, with their equations. So remember, F is G M1 M2 R squared. So in this case, it's going to be G M B M C divided by the radius between, or I'm sorry, the distance between B and C. Remember, little r is the distance, not the radius. And then this is G M A M B over the distance between A and B squared. Right away I hope you realize that G's cancel and MB's cancel as well. So I have this ratio over here. Um, if you try to solve this you're gonna get kind of stuck. Okay, You're gonna get kind of stuck um, because you don't know all these distances. Now I know A and B, the distance between A and B is what I'm looking for and I call this Y. However, I don't know this distance here. Okay, so the best you can do here is say, well, if the whole thing is 10 and this is y, then this is just 10 minus y. Okay, this is just 10L minus y. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace that here and then try to solve. Let's clean this up a little bit. MC um, divided by 10L minus y squared equals ma divided by y squared okay and what we're looking to solve for is y now um, i have these numbers here okay and the answer at least in terms of m and i have l here so i'm supposed to solve for i'm supposed to solve for y the easiest way to do this is going to be to actually take the square root of both sides to get y out of here there's a few other ways you might want to try this um, I can, for example, cross multiply and then distribute the y's and bring everything together, but that's going to be harder, okay? Um, because you're going to have to foil this thing. So I'm going to I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and that's going to get rid of the squares here. So I'm going to get the square root of mc. Mc, by the way, is 3m. So the square root of 3m um, equals the square root of ma is 2m, cool, and then this is going to be 10l minus y, and this is just y. By the way, here I can cancel out the m's, because I have two m's that are inside of a square root. This would have been the same thing as saying, um, if you had something like this, 3m equals 2m, and then some stuff in the bottom here. Uh, this is the same thing as saying 3 m equals 2 m so the m's will cancel okay just to be clear we can do that even though it's inside of the square root and now i'm going to cross multiply this um, so i'm going to have um, here on the left this is going to multiply with that so i'm going to have square root of 2 10 l minus y equals y square root of 3 
okay and this is just algebra it's kind of annoying but I have to get the y's by themselves or that these two y's have to be by, by by themselves on the left side or the right side doesn't matter so that I can solve for, for y okay let me continue over here so I'm going to distribute this so it's gonna be 10 L square root of 2 minus square root of 2 y equals square root of 3 y and I'm going to move this over here and I'm going to get 10 square root of 2L equals square root of 2Y plus square root of 3Y. And the way to solve for Y here is going to be to factor out a Y and then send it over to the other side. So the final answer is that Y equals 10 square root of 2L divided by square root of 2 plus square root of 3 okay and that's your sort of final version of this um, if you wanted to you could calculate this entire number here let me show you real quick you could calculate this entire number here times L and if you did this you would get to 4.50 L it rounds pretty nicely actually so if this was a, a sort of a multiple choice test question um, maybe the answer would be presented this way maybe the answer would be presented this way okay and you gotta be ready for both so anyway the big idea here is there's no net force so you set them equal to each other and what's different about this question is that this little setup here I'm going to ask you how far one of these two have to be from each other and what you have to do is make one the variable and the other one, uh, you write it in terms of the variable, okay? So this was y, I knew this was 10, so I have to rewrite this, which is the one I won't know, in terms of the other two, so then that way you can, you know, just use algebra, just use algebra to finish the rest, okay? That's it for this one, let me know if you guys have any questions.